So you don't want to handle because you don't want to get bit. Correct. They're they're pretty venomous, and also their chelicera actually are very painful because they're a modified front leg, yeah. and they are much larger than your standard bug mouth parts. I do. But these are they're of the school of Pendragenus, but these are actually this one is particular is from the Everglades. Okay, so this is a Floridian. Yes, this is a Florida native, not quite full grown yet. Yeah. We've got a couple more inches. Yep. Yeah. But she eats anything smaller than her, including rodents, wow. any other kind of bugs. Okay, now I've never kept a centipede. What does it look like when a centipede eats a rodent? Well, it depends on what part of the body the rodent actually touches. I have seen them take a rodent from yeah. their back legs and pass it up to their mouth. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yes. And they then will... do they just work on it until it gets so hot and they don't want to eat it anymore? No, they eat the entire thing. Bones okay. it all. Okay, so are you talking about, are you talking to this is fascinating. Okay, did you, are you talking a centipede bigger than this? Now the Vietnamese size? the Vietnamese giant centipedes will eat copper mice. Okay. This particular species I wouldn't really feed anything bigger than a pinky mouse. Okay. So this centipede would take a pinky and work on it at one setting until it was done? And completely devour it. Wow, kind of like a praying mantis would eat up, just keep chewing exactly, on it. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Except these are a lot faster because the, the chelicera, the, the teeth parts, the mouth parts, are a lot bigger and a far stronger. Yes. I have actually, I have witnessed a Vietnamese giant centipede consume three hoppers wow. in one sitting. Wow. Yes. Now, it's kind of amusing, but at that point, does the centipede seem fatter? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. Because the biomass has to go somewhere. Exactly. She yeah. was actually quite a bit larger, and she ended up being gravid. Oh, okay. Yes. So. And she had a large clutch of eggs, about 70 of them hatched. Uh, lovely. What do centipede eggs look like? They look like those little small yellow fertilizer pellets that you get okay. in your... So they're individual eggs. Yes. Then. And the mother is actually... She has maternal instincts. She actually keeps them in a ball, keeps them clean, keeps them free of mold, keeps them protected from predators. How does a centipede keep eggs free of mold? She cleans them constantly. Okay. Like she it. takes each individual egg and she constantly cleans it, puts it back in the, in the grouping, and just moves her way around all 70 plus eggs and keeps them immaculate. I love them. Yeah. They bite really hard if you're not careful. So you've been bit. I have, and it was excruciating. So the adult female Vietnamese giant centipede, yeah. it's, first of all, you feel the crush of the chalice. Okay, so it's like you're being pinched. Now, does that penetrate Horribly. into, like, completely, like, draw blood kind yes, of thing? Yes, actually, it can completely go through even Woo! skin here. Okay. And then it was excruciating, burning sensation all up and down my limb. From your venom, okay. Yes. All right. I was envenomated, and it was three hours of pain. Okay, what happened after three hours? It just you got it over it? slowly or? dissipated. Okay. They're wonderful animals. They're quite clean. People think that just because they live in the dirt, they're dirty. No, they are very meticulous about right. keeping themselves clean. They can't afford to get any mold on their legs. They are not overtly aggressive, but they will stand their ground. Right. And they are all venomous. What species was this again? This is a South Floridian species. It's a Scolopendra. Does it have a common name people might know it by, or do people just say, hey, that's a centipede? It's it's just a trop, a neotropical centipede. Okay. Do you know this uh, centipede is? It's Scolopendra alternans. Okay. Right. Hopefully, this is a girl or a boy? Hard to tell. Okay, I was going to ask how easy it was to tell. Okay. Hard to tell. I usually tell by the time they have an egg case. Got it. That's the way to do it. <laughs>